in personal news, over the weekend, the biggest conversation piece in my life was my son graduated from college, which meant not a lot of work done on the website and on This Is The Conversation. So a very short weekend that was for today, and today happens to be the 15th of May, 2017. The Daily Recap Podcast from ThisIsTheConversation.com. Being that it was the weekend, so we have uh, the weekend that was from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, not a lot, I have to apologize, not a lot of work done over the weekend as a lot of time spent with family. My son graduated from college this week, and while he may not have much of a way of a plan of what to do next, we had a lot of planning to do to get ready for the big day and, of course, a celebration. So that meant not a lot of time working on the computer for the weekend. So we'll have a very short weekend that was wrap up for this time. Of course, you want to conversate with us, and we're back to more or less full strength today. Go to uh, online. Go online and find us and conversate with us at our various spots. On social media, if you're on Twitter, find us at TH underscore conversation. Find us on Facebook at This Is The Conversation. And find us at our main website, thisisaconversation.com, for plenty of great conversations there, plus other great features. And, of course, that's where you can sign up for the Conversation Survey Panel. Because while we also like to just talk to you about things in the know, we also want to get to your opinions on very important issues. And we have people who are paying us to find you guys the best people with the best opinions, and we'll pay you in real money for your conversations in these surveys. Go to thisisaconversation.com slash survey panel to find all the details for that. So today is May 15th, Monday, May 15th, which means going back three days to the 12th on Friday, we have a very short list of conversational things to uh, to deal with. Uh, starting off with Trump putting out a, a tweet threat, a tweet threat on Friday after a lot of the Comey talk went back and forth saying that he might just cancel press briefings altogether because it doesn't, going the back and forth wasn't worth it. And just for clarity, he can just put out a paper release and you can read it and take it from there. Now, what was implied in the tweet before that was that his surrogates, because Trump is a busy guy doing a lot of things, his surrogates can't always be 100% accurate in what's going on because, you know, things change. He changes his mind a lot of times. So, essentially... He first said the truth isn't all that important, then said telling the truth or being held accountable or at least being asked questions about it, that also wasn't all that important as well. well of course, many people not very happy with the assumption on that, and many people took the weekend to try to explain it both ways. Tom Brady chosen to grace the cover of Madden NFL 18. That's the upcoming football game for the season. Uh, that's going to be released in a couple of weeks, released pretty early so people can get used to it and get the gameplay ready for the big tournaments. And, of course, when the actual season starts, uh, they send plenty of updates to roster changes and things like that. But essentially the main characters of all teams are going to stay the same, including uh, the just now recruited and just now drafted players that should be on the team rosters. Uh, they'll have them in there, and, and as they update the season when they have changes, they'll make real-time changes for people who really deal with that. Now, what does this really mean for the rest of the world? Well, it means that uh, we get to see another thing that Tom Brady's on. What does it mean for Tom Brady? He gets a little extra money for being on the cover of this, and of course all the players get a little money from this because their likenesses are in the ball, the ball game. But there is a thing called the Madden curse, and whether it's real or not is debatable, but there's a thing about a curse of being on the cover. So people that get on the cover of the Madden video game tend to have pretty bad things happen, usually a freak injury. Sometimes weird things happen just offline, but uh, they usually are on that usually is the beginning of the end for many people, or at least a very bad spot. Uh, Tom Brady, who's had so many things happen to him and, of course, rose above them all, would probably rise above a curse in this case as well, but we'll see how well he gets through it. Some people get through unscathed. Some people deal with uh, the basically the ending of the careers. A lot of up-and-comers end up losing their careers in a sense because they get on the cover and whatever happens, happens to them. A woman and her dog went hiking in the Montana wilderness and were able to manage to live for six days out there in the wilderness, even though uh, there were some extreme temperatures to deal with, by living off creek water and we were rescued over the weekend. Now, the woman did admit that going all alone and going off the path was probably not the best thing to do, especially in a place where uh, the largest populations of bears have to be in the United States. But they were found safe and sound after six days of wandering in the wilderness. Congratulations for that. The massive, fast-moving cyber attack uh, at, as of Friday hit as many as 74 countries. Of course, this morning there's more aftermath from that same cyber attack. We'll wait to, throughout the day to see 
how well it goes, but a massive hole in a Windows operating system, which, by the way, is kind of the fault of the NFA, NSA, but a hole in the Windows operating system allows the hackers to get into it, uh, find that patch, and it literally shuts down and locks down uh, all the information from that side. And then to get out of it, uh, a ransomware uh, occurs. So they get a message saying that for about 300 Bitcoin, we'll release your data. Now, the biggest issue this had was for older systems that didn't know it was coming. The United States went fairly well unscathed over the weekend, but um, for older system, systems in some places and, of course, in some developing countries, they had plenty of issues where it shut down literally the medical uh, operations and major corporations in some places because of the patch. Now, back to the NSA. The United States National Security Agency found a hole, a security flaw, in the Microsoft operating system that just was a standard hole that went all the way back to Windows XP, maybe beyond, but XP is the last thing uh, that's been canceled on the list of updates, and it's the last thing anybody's actually using that's worth updating. So they knew about this hole because it allowed them to have a backdoor into a system in case they needed to get some information. Well, by some hackers, slack or whatever, uh, other people found out about this, and when they found out that they were basically found out, the NSA did tell Microsoft what was going on. And Microsoft went through some emergency patches over the weekend or basically the week to catch what was going on. And uh, all, all the way back to finding ways to send patches for Windows XP, even though they've not supported that one for quite some time. Um, but the damage was already done, and we'll see how much more damage will be done today as many people who basically left work on Friday before it had a chance to operate will see Monday morning across the world whether their computers are infected. The big thing is, if you get infected, do not pay them the, the ransom because chances are they're not going to unlock your computer anyway. You will have some sort of workaround fairly soon to get yourself out of this. Emmanuel Macron was sworn in as the new French president on the weekend. Now, a weekend before, he was elected, and so we will see how the French will deal with their new president. Hopefully, they'll deal with it a lot more smoothly than we're dealing with our relatively new president as well. China pledged $124 billion to build a new Silk Road, um, at the, which is not necessarily going to be a real Silk Road, but they're going to be the staunch supporter of capitalism in a globalized world. Now, the Silk Road is a f famous uh, trading post, a trading road from well, way, way, way back in the day uh, where the, the, the trading was opened up from China through, through the Silk Road. Now they're going to try to do this, and this is going to be uh, something that may be our fault as Americans as the policy of the current president is kind of backing away from anything globalized and going America first. That opens up trade deals for other countries to deal with other people. And China, who wants to be a real global power in money, and they have a lot of people to help back that up, are offering off themselves as the new place to trade on the new Silk Road for the global economy. U.S. officials confirmed late that North Korea did launch a ballistic missile from a test site. North Korea saying that this missile is just proof that the United States is in their range and can be attacked as soon as they get too hostile towards them. Uh, the United States just basically said the, the, that North Korea fired off another missile. It was the first ballistic missile in many years, but it was just another test. And the first tweet of the day, trying to get back into the swing of things, was a sad thing for fans of just general cinema. Uh, the character actor Powers Booth, although to many people he's been in so, a larger than life figure for lots of things, first winning an Emmy for his portrayal of Jim Jones, but it was plenty of things. So many things, it's hard to really pick out a, you know, just one specific that he's known for because he's one of those character actors, guys. The voice. And the name is something that just got spread around and all sorts of things. So if it was a big miniseries in the 80s and early 90s, he was probably in it. He also recently was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for a nice story arc. He was in Sin City. You may remember that one. And, of course, he is the character voice for many animated features. Powers Booth, the actor, dead at age 68. And that wraps up the conversations we had for the weekend, uh, although there weren't as many as they should have been. But, like I said, I uh, had the... Uh, whole family thing to deal with for the graduation. I appreciate all the folks for just putting up with that for this week. More work being done for the next week for actual news conversations. In fact, lots of things being done uh, this week. We're still kind of backed up. I have another great celebration for today as we release a 100th episode for one of my greatest podcasts, one of my greatest works so far, and that's the 10-Minute Life Coach. You can check that out at 10MinuteLifeCoach.com. 
You can also check out what other things I'm doing at jcovenpain.net, my main website. Now, as far as the conversation, this is where I thank you for being a part of this conversation and more conversations to come. You go by our website, thisistheconversation.com, and go to uh, the survey panel, and you can apply for that, where we will pay you great money for giving us your great responses to surveys. You can also check out other great features on the website as well. And, of course, just follow the conversation in real time online social media. TH underscore conversation for the Twitter and for the Facebook. It is This is the Conversation. Thank you very much for being a part of this conversation. Come back for more of it tomorrow and the next day and the next day, either online via the social media, at the website, or this podcast. 